speaking of CMC statements, another critical document uh, to use to preserve your claims when you're in federal court is the pretrial statement. And that's the lesson out of another recent case called Satanic Temple Inc. versus City of Scottsdale. Uh, the Satanic Temple in that case sued after it was not selected to give the invocation at a local city council meeting. The plaintiffs tried the case on an as applied discrimination theory. And when they lost that theory, they moved for new findings under a different theory a facial discrimination theory. Yeah, boy, when you're in federal court, the amount of work that goes into crafting and negotiating with your opponent, the pretrial statement is sometimes overwhelming, but it's important not only for the trial, but as uh, uh, reflected in this case we're discussing, uh, it could have appellate implications because the Ninth Circuit held that this new theory was waived because it was not raised in the pretrial statement and also it was not raised in the opening brief. Right, right. Uh, be sure also to read uh, the applicable local rules in your court governing the pretrial statement. Uh, I've seen um, in in many courts where uh, where it's discussed there, they're basically treated like uh, like a pleading, and whatever is not included in the pretrial statement is basically removed from the issues in the case. And you can basically count on them being deemed waived uh, if and when your case goes up on appeal.